What's up you guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have a grindy, raw, Monday afternoon training session. It's gonna be a good one. I know you guys will enjoy it. Before we get into that, I have a real quick announcement I need to make. I am now officially partnered with Hydragun. It is a great massage gun company. First company that's reached out to me that, that made me feel like they actually gave a shit about me. Yeah, I've been using this thing now for about four months. Pretty much every day, especially on my quads and thighs, really just helps break up the stiffness and get them turned on. Compared to other massage guns, like especially the ones you find on Amazon, this thing really outperforms them. One, it comes with like a metal tip. I really like metal tips on massage guns. And this thing packs a pretty good punch, so you can really push down, put your weight on it, and kind of dig in there. But yeah, it's heavy, it's all like metal, it's all super durable. And I'm not saying like go out and buy this just because I'm saying to. Putting it out there that if you are looking to invest into a massage gun that will last a long time, and then consider this one. Use my link down below. I don't have a code, you just have to use that link. And when you buy it, it'll automatically know it's from me. So enough of that. Get into the video. New around here, hit the sub button and cue the ATG intro, baby. <laughs> What's going on everybody? I know I said this is a raw training session video, so I'll, I'll keep this clip, but I wanted to provide a little bit of context because that's always good to have. And as always, there might be something you can apply to, to your training or whatever it is you're doing. But anyway, um, this is the Monday afternoon session. In the morning, I did have three triples at 190 kilos on front squat, accompanied with some snatch push presses, an overhead squats at a fairly decent weight and as well as a good amount on snatch high pulls so obviously a very intense and heavy workload a great amount of stress applied to the body in the morning yeah so we're coming into the session feeling pretty fatigued already and what do you know in the afternoon we have a, a pretty rough session as well um for the snatches we're supposed to work up to Five sets of three, yes, five triples at 125 kilos on the snatch from our low blocks. Didn't want to use any straps with this just because I am really, I just really want to get my grip down and I really want to be just more comfortable without straps than with straps, which is honestly starting to come along. Fun, funnily, I did miss the first rep at 125. I do not know why, but all of them, the rest turned out really well. I was, I, I felt really dialed in, very focused. And on the last set, we um, did go up to 130 kilos for a triple, which was a tri which was a triple PR, which is uh, good. It's a good confidence booster, as you guys know. I'm ha I have troubles. I'm having trouble with the 130s on snatch, breaking out of the 30s and getting into the 40s. So, you know that is a good little mental confidence booster. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy the snatch session.
All right, guys, for clean and jerks, um, we had three doubles at 160 kilos for clean and jerks. This is actually the first time I'm split jerking since the AO2 series. And honestly, ever since I did that 190 kilo jerk, my, my knee has been giving me a little bit of problems and it was giving me a bit of problems in Albuquerque. For the, the a few weeks after that, we did do just purely push jerks. Obviously the legs were tired. The knees were actually holding up really well. I was feeling a little bit of irritation. I like to keep my pain level on, my, on the knee tendonitis under a five is what Morgan, the physical therapist, says to do. Um, and it was, the cleans were fine. The jerks were a little irritated, but it, again, it was under that five pain level. Yeah, since this was the first time in a, a few weeks, um, they did feel off. You'll notice my feet do land in the position a little bit before my arms are locked out. And I think this was throwing me off a little bit. You know, I, I just, I didn't really have my snap or my timing. One, it could be fatigue, or two, it could also just be pure, purely timing. So yeah, although clean and jerks weren't necessarily as high as volume and intensity as the snatches, the culmination of work done to my body already um, really affected me here. And it was, it was definitely a good grind, a good mental grind and a good way to stay mentally tough and kind of just get after it and kind of fight. And those sessions, I believe when you are tired and you are fatigued and you have to mentally push yourself, there are, there are amazing sessions. I think they're more important than the sessions you do feel good because anyone can lift good and anyone can be optimistic and anyone can push themselves when they're feeling good. It's how, how you respond to when you're not feeling good, when you're feeling a little achy, the, the weight feels heavier than normal. That's when your real heart and real desire shines through. So if you guys have sessions like these, I, I challenge you and I, and I encourage you to push through them and not just go down and wait. Yeah, so fatigue fosters growth, title of the video. I'll leave you guys with that. I am actually competing at the Arizona State Championships today when this video drops. Um, I will have that video out next week. It should be a really good one. So keep your eyes peeled for that and we'll see you guys in the next one.